Good morning. Welcome everybody to Jeopardy! Science Center Edition. I'm your host, Alex T-Rex. So let's meet our players. It's a privilege to have playing with us today. The Mayor of Greensboro, give a warm welcome for the Honorable Bill Knight. He holds a seat on the Greensboro City Council and represents District 3, where the Natural Science Center resides. Make him feel at home, because indeed he is Zach Metheny. And our third player this morning is a future resident of Carolina's Aquarium to be built here at the Natural Science Center. Put your flippers together for a penguin. It takes a while. <laughs> the politicians are sweating already. Now, Mr. Mayor, befitting your office, you have first control of the board. Uh, North Carolina first, 200. Not Gate City, but this city, USA, is the title of the master plan that gave rise to the North Carolina Cyquarium. Yes, Penguin. <coughs> that is correct. <laughs> what is... Science. Science City USA was the name of the master plan drafted seven years ago in-house that has become the roadmap for all that's followed and has brought us to this day. Penguin, you have control of the board. Good choice. Revenue for 200. This group of volunteers has operated the Natural Science Center on behalf of the city for the past 20 years, saving the city over $25 million. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Where's the board of directors? Very good. Board of directors, correct. You're on the board with 200, died with Penguin. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, you have control of the board once again. Let's try Fritter Trivia for 200. These pescatarians will soon cost the Natural Science Center $5,000 per beak per year to maintain their formal healthy attire. Yes, Mr. Matheny. Uh, what are penguins? Very good, penguins, you are on the board. Tied across the board at 200 each, Mr. Matheny, you have control. Let's get revenue 400. Local tourism recently increased by this percentage, coincidentally equal to the percentage of its weight that a fish consumes daily. Yes, Mr. Mayor. 18%. 18%. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Not correct. Anyone else? Yes, penguin, a fish expert. <laughs> yes, 7%. Exactly so. Very good. Penguin is in the lead with 600, and so you have control of the board. <laughs> Very fine. We teach for 200. This hometown paleontological adventurer inspires thousands of students each year with the wonders of dino discovery. Yes, Mr. Matheny. Who is Indiana Bones? We would also have accepted who is Dr. Indiana Bones. That's correct. <laughs> Fine fellow, I know him well. He's indicative of the kind of creative educational programs that we have here at the Science Center that helped the Science Center just this past year attain the sixth most popular site for uh, school children visiting on field trips. Mr. Matheny, you have control of the board. About survive 200. Though often called man-eaters, sharks are threatened by humans, killing them to collect this small part for consumption. Penguin. Ah! Yes, fins, very fine. You're in the lead with 800. Uh, Mr. Matheny is on the board for 400, and the mayor is uh, in the whole 200 points. <laughs> Penguin, you have control of the board once again. Yes. NSC works for 200. In the depths of the 2009 recession, this percentage of voters approved construction of the Carolina Cyquarium. 
Yes, Mr. Matheny. 61%. We would have given you plus or minus two, but correct, right on the nose. 61%. Thank you. Again, you have control of the board. NSC works for them. Though previously funded, completely with Greensboro taxpayer dollars, public funds now account for only this percentage of the NSC budget. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Plus or minus two? Plus or minus, <laughs> plus or minus two, yes. Uh, okay. Forty. Forty. No. Uh, public funds only account now for 21%. Twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me confer with the judges to see if a host's mistake can be... Yes, they say the host is allowed a mistake, and yes, very fine. We'll put you on the board with 21. I think I've been yet to come. Uh, Mr. Matheny, you do have control of the board, so proceed. Uh, NC first performance. This facility will be the first in North Carolina history to exhibit Penguins. Yes, Mr. Mayor. NSC. Yes, the Natural Science Center, where we also would have accepted Psyquarium. Back up on the board with now only minus 200, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Mr. Matheny stands at 1,000 and the Penguin at 800. Uh, like Animal Discovery before Psyquarium, we are always looking to please the public with the animals we put on display. And, uh, Penguins, along with otters and sharks, are right at the top of the list. We'll have them all. The Psyquarium, Mr. Mayor, once again, you have control of the board. I'm not going to survive. <laughs> <laughs> and let's hope you can. Survive for 400. It is the Daily Double. Now, Mr. Mayor, you're 200 in the hole. A thousand, he says. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching the board on election night, isn't it? 900 will suffice. We'll go with 900. The North Carolina Zoo draws 700,000 visitors annually with 227 full-time staff. The NSC draws over 300,000 visitors with this number of full-time staff. Uh, in the form of a question. Oh, um, what is? What is 79? <laughs> not, still not correct in the form of a question. The NSC has 20 full-time employees, 20 full-time employees, uh, half the visitorship annually of the North Carolina Zoo with less than 10% of the staff. It speaks to the incredible efficiency with which the NSC has run uh, notwithstanding the conduct of this game. <laughs> so, Mr. Mayor, we'll let you have control of the board once again. Let's go to Critter Trivia, 400. These true fish have skeletons but no bones. Yes, penguin. <laughs> yes, I heard the fear in your voice as you said that too. Sharks, what is sharks? Very good. Well, we stand uh, at 1,200 for Penguin, 1,000 for Mr. Matheny. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you are $1,100 in the hole. <laughs> Penguin, you'll complete the board for 400. <laughs> Very good. This year, the NSC has seven teams competing statewide for robotic supremacy with student-created machines built with these iconic bricks. Yes, Mr. Matheny. What are Legos indeed? Very fine. Now, Mr. Mayor, you did admirably, but you still wound up $1,100 in the hole. Uh, Penguin, we were impressed with your performance. Uh, still, you're second with $1,200. And Zach Matheny, you are our Jeopardy champion with 1,400 points. Give a hand to all of our contestants. And ladies and gentlemen, I hope it's become clear from playing this game that with the Natural Science Center's Buildings Aquarium, all of us in Greensboro, North Carolina, and beyond, we're all winners. Thanks again. So long.